So joining me now live from Capitol Hill is House Republican Whip Eric Cantor. Uh, nice to see you, Congressman Cantor. Tell us what your objections were to the speech last night. Well, uh, good afternoon, Andrea. You know, I, I don't want to, nor does anybody want to pile on to the president. Uh, but what people need right now is leadership. Uh, and, and this speech just did not demonstrate that there is a plan to help the people right now who need it most. Uh, and, you know, I thought it was funny, Andrea. It's the first time I can, I, I can recall uh, where I am in agreement with folks on uh, MSNBC like Keith Olbermann. I mean, I, I thought the same thing he did about this speech. There's no leadership. There was no plan. Uh, we've got a real environmental catastrophe right now, and there's no demonstrative thing to point to uh, where this president says, we've got a plan, we're going to get it done. Well, what he's apparently announcing today, and we're hearing reports out of the meeting that we've been able to confirm, is a $20 billion escrow fund, which is open-ended and which will be administered by Ken Feinberg. Isn't that a plan? Uh, well, that is certainly a piece that I got to commend the president uh, on on establishing that fund, uh, and absolutely BP ought to be paying. Which uh, I, um, clearly they've stepped up and said that they would go along with the president's escrow fund. Uh, but what we did not hear last night, Andrea, uh, is a fix to the problem. We didn't hear uh, answers to the Senator Lemieux, who was just on uh, this network, saying that they need more skimmers in Florida. Why isn't the president calling our allies? Calling Calling sources that he's got to go in and bring the necessary equipment in place to do everything we can to stave off this environmental disaster of epic proportions. The House Speaker spoke about this today and about BP. Let me play it for you. Everything BP told us turned out to be a betrayal of the public trust, that they had the technology to dig that deep that they had the capacity to uh, prevent a blowout. But if one occurred, they had the adequacy of a response. They did not on any score. And the people of the region are paying dearly, as is our entire country. I don't want to shock you too much, but is it possible that you agree with Nancy Pelosi, just as you now agree with Keith, Keith Oberman let, let, in part? Let, let, me just, let me just say this, Andrea. BP needs to pay. BP's market cap on the on the markets has gone down by the tens, if not, I don't know where it is now, tens of billions of dollars. Okay? BP has stepped up and said $20 billion in escrow. BP needs to pay. But why is the speaker, just as the president, focused on blame gaming right now instead of fixing the problem? Well, because they We've caused the problem. Uh, well, sure they did. Sure, I mean, sure you they told did. the Financial Times last week, quote, that they should stop, that the president, the administration should stop blame and vilification instead of focusing on stopping the oil. Sure. The the president and the administration can't stop the oil. BP has well, to stop the oil. Well, what, what they can do, what they can do right now is mitigate the environmental disaster. Again, Florida says they need 300 skimmers. Right now, there's 32 off the coast. Same thing in Louisiana. Steve Scalise, the member of Congress from the New Orleans region, says all along the administration is turned a deaf ear to the pleas for help as far as in mitigating the environmental disaster. That's what this administration can be doing, Andrew. We did not hear any concerted detailed plan on how we're going to clean up this mess. All right. Well, maybe we will. We're still waiting for the president to come out. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you Congressman Andrew. Eric Cantor.